Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and we've got a phenomenal treat for you today. Now I know many of you absolutely adore Fog of War puzzles and that's what we've got in store for you today with a killer in the dark. And as you can see in the thumbnail, I've tried to capture the title with you've got Sleuth wandering around in the dark looking for presumably the killer. And I don't understand why the killer is as it looks, but we've got a tiny lizard there hiding in the corner, supposedly from Sleuth, who for, no, for some reason just can't even look down and actually spot who the killer is. That's okay. I'm sure you can do better as we look at today's puzzle. So, Killer in the Dark by Flinty, and uh, a relatively straightforward set of rules. Um, ones that are probably going to be familiar with the, for the vast majority of you. Let's have a look at what they are. So, First one, normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means the digits 1 to 9 in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. Fairly standard. Fog of War means most of the grid is covered in fog. As you solve more of the grid, it will appear. And typically, the way it works is, if you get this digit correct, let's call it 1, essentially, all of these adjacent cells, including diagonals and orthogonally adjacent ones, will be revealed, hopefully showing you more clues in terms of where to go next. Then we've got killer cages, you know, very much what the puzzle is named after. So essentially, these three cells that we can see visibly here, with the dashed line around it highlighting them, have to add up to six, all three digits. These three cells have to add up to ten, as you can see in the top left corner of each of these killer cages. Now, one more clue that we're given is that all cages are exactly three cells in size. And I imagine this will prove helpful as we uncover this fog, because we can't exactly tell what the cages are or their sizes. But the fact that we know they're all exactly three is probably going to be quite a bit of a clue as we get on with it. Now, if you want to find this murderer in the dark, this killer in the dark, link will be in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Right, so obvious things. A six cell, sorry, a three cell killer cage that adds up to six can only be one, two, and three. Um, <laughs> my example here earlier of this being a one is actually correct because the minimum this can be now is four and five because I've already used one, two, and three in box three. That's already at 9. This can only be a 1 to get to 10. There we go. So the minimum here would be 6. And I guess the minimum, sorry, the minimum again, yeah, is 2 and then 3, which is 5 plus 6. Yep, that's 11. So that's all correct. That's a 6. That's 7, 8, 9 to complete box 3. Now remember this clue again, all cages are exactly three cells in size. Now if this cage was three cells in size and it went up, that would be 24, not 16. So clearly this cage is curving this way round. And if you try and make this anything other than 7, 8, you're already at 16 or over. So 9, 7 would be 16. What would this cell be? Zero. Um, 9, 8 would be 17, this still would have to be minus 1. So clearly this is a 7, 8, this is the 9, this has to be the 1 now to add up to 16. That's not the 1. A 9 cell cage, sorry, a 3 cell 9 cage without the 1 can only ever be 2, 3, 4. Meaning this is 5, this is the 1 because it's not 2 or 3, that's not the 1. This can now be a minimum of, it's not one, two, three, or four. This is at least five or seven. And because two can't be repeated in the cage, sorry, in the box, we've already pencil marked it here, that would mean that this would be the two. And because we've got one in the column, it has to be a two. Yeah. 3, 2, this is a 3 cell, sorry, yeah, 3 cell cage that adds up to 24, as we shown earlier, can only be 7, 8, and 9. 
I mean, I don't know why I'm pencil marking. We've just got seven, eight staring at this cell. That's the nine. That's seven and eight. That's therefore the five, the seven, not the six, the seven. Uh, this five is looking up here. That's the four. Still don't know which one is the two or three. Not to worry. I do know that this nine, though, is not here. can only be there. And then I'm left with six and eight giving us the 7 and the 8. This is going smoothingly well. Famous last words, of course. Let's have a think about what this 9 cage is. So the 9 cage is very clearly, based on where these lines are heading, is these three cells. Now, one possibility is that there is a 1 in there. And I think it has to be because you've got one, two, three, four, five. That's a minimum of six. If you have a six in a nine cage, a three cell nine cage, these have to be one and two. So that's six, that's one, that's two, that's three, that's two. These are now four and five. These are now seven and nine. This is now three and eight. Super. Wow, look at that. One, two, and three. At an absolute minimum, this is four and five. But that doesn't work. You can see again with the way that it's heading. I mean, it could have actually headed right. It's just given this is already at nine, we'd need a two. And the minimum this is is a three. So essentially, this is either four, five, nine, and a, sorry, four, five, and a two, which it can't be, or four, six, and a one, which it can be. So that's not five, that's six. That's 10, that's the one. There we go. Does it reveal anything in here? Not really. Yeah, not really. 19 cage? Not sure, it doesn't exactly leap out and say this is what you should be thinking there is no nine and there is no one but I'm not sure actually we do have a bit more of a clue these are not twos this two this is not a two there's definitely a two in here and there is a two from 19 i need to get to 17 which can only be done in one way which is nine and eight now this nine tells us the nine is not here that's the nine nine not eight that's two and eight that's a seven that's an eight um that's yep seven nine nine did i have anything else got sort of the same question about whether there's a one in the night in this nine cell cage or not but that's it for the moment. That is plenty. Uh, excuse me. It's my machine just about to update and restart. Let me see if I can uh, stop it <laughs> from doing so. Brilliant. Okay. It doesn't look like it will any second now. Uh, back to solving this puzzle. Well, we know that's not a two. Not a huge revelation, really, so... We know these are not fours and fives. Four is here, five is there. Don't know. Not that interesting. Let's see what this is. This is one, four, and five. Okay, maybe it's a 20 cage. So the 20 cage doesn't have an eight. And if I don't have a nine in it, the minimum, sorry, the maximum I can make this will be 7, 6, and 5, which is only 18. So I have to have a 9. There is definitely a 9 in here. Um, there is definitely a 9 now in there. Is that all the 9s? Nearly. Yeah, nearly. 
So there's a nine in here. Now that this 20 cage, I need to have an 11 with it. So nine, two is not available. Three, eight is not available. Seven, four, not available because we've got sevens looking in here. So it's nine, five and six. That's not a nine. That's not a five. Wasn't exactly helpful, if I'm honest. But at least it gave us this nine. And we've got a 16 cage, 16 three cell cage as such. So options. You know, it was off to a phenomenal start and then it sort of started slowing down quite a bit all of a sudden. So if this is a one, we'd need this to be 18, sorry, 15 to get to it, which is either nine, six, not possible, or seven, eight. And you've got a seven, eight staring at here. It's not seven, eight, right? Another possibility is this is a four and we need 12 between these two cells. Nine, three is not possible. Um, eight, four is not possible because we're repeating the four. Five, seven would be impossible because we've got seven and five eliminating both options from here. So that's the five. These are not the fives. We now need 11, not nine, two. I guess it can be eight, three. It can be seven, four. And that's it, it can't be six, five because we'd repeat the five. Wow, okay. Um, it's really pushing now. Sorry, I was just a little bit distracted thinking we've got sixes in here. And as you can see, we have no sixes there. So we know that the six in this column is here. Sorry, in this box is here. This six tells us it's one of these two cells. And I think the same thing is if, if that was the six, that would have been one and two, but we don't know that yet. I mean, I'll just corner pencil mark this for now. I don't think it's helpful yet. So options for this, let's try four first because that would mean this is a 10, six, four, not an option. Seven, three would be an option. Eight, two would be an option. One, nine wouldn't be. So four is very clearly in. One and then a 13. Nine, four wouldn't work because that would break this cell. Eight, five wouldn't work because the five wouldn't be available. And then the other possibility is seven, six, which unfortunately is. So this is either seven, six with the one and the four there were just an incredible number of options. So it would have been the seven, three, this three tells us that's the three, um, eight, two, this two tells us that would have been the two, this would have been the eight. And then the last option, so one, nine, no, two, eight, we've covered three, seven, we've covered, and obviously four, six, we'd be repeating the four. Wow. Okay. I'll tell you though, what have we not, we've, have we pencil marked pretty much everything? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This is not helpful at all. So in here, I'm genuinely not sure where to go next. It didn't seem like there was a lot of play with these cells and these options. I mean, there's hardly any overlap. This is a two for sure. No two here, no two there because of that. 
that's the 2, which leaves me with a 3, 4, and a 6, 9. This 3, 4 tells me, the second 3, 4 is in here, 6, 9 tells me, because we've got a 6 in there, that's the 9, that's the 6, that's the 5, that's the 9. 6 tells me no 6s up here, which I remember, I think if it was 1, and we needed a 13, it was only 6, 7, that was an option. That's kind of my recollection. So 4, 1, and now it's, again, 7, 8 with 2, 3. We need a second 2, 3, which is not going to be there. That's 2, 3. That's now a known digit. That's a 6. And we need another 7, 8, which you can see is not there. And a 6. We'll need another 7, 8. I don't actually know where this is. So I need 4, 5, and 7, 8. I do know this is not the 7, 8. This is a 4, 5. I don't know where the rest goes. Okay, maybe time to think about this 9. So option 1 was 1, 2, 6. That still seems valid. Another option would be 1, 5, 3. Looks fine as well. Last option would be 2, 3, 4. And then the 4 would be here. And then the 2, 3 would... No, can't do 2, 3. Sorry, can't do 2, 3, 4, because I'd have 2, 3 in there breaking this cell. So this is always a 1, basically. Now we need to figure out whether it's 2, 6, or 3, 5. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that just yet. 21. I think that answers the question. Can't use a 9. 3 cells means this is 6, 7, 8. This 3 tells us that's the 4. And therefore, that's the 7, that's the 8, and therefore, this would be the 2, the 3, the 8, the 3, and the 8, the 7. I need a 2, and then to finish this off, I need a 4. That's an 8, that's a 2, that's a 4, that's a 6, that's a 3, that's an 8. That's the 5, that's the 4. I'm sure I know what this is. That's the 7. I need 3, which can only be in here. 9, which can only be in there. And 5, I think. Right. I need a 7 in here. This can only be there. I need a second 4, 5. Incredibly not resolved. Yeah, nothing down the column that helps me fix that up. But we can finish this, I imagine. One, two, that's two, that's one. That's seven, no. That's the seven, that's the three, four, three. We need another six, eight, which can only be in there. We've got six and eight. Therefore, that's the 6, the 8, the 6, something, 4, I need a 1, 5, and 8. And that gives me the 4, and if I've not made any mistakes, the 5s, and the answer to today's puzzle. It's a beautiful puzzle, Flinty. I mean, um, I think the constraint around this being 3-cell cages... Yeah, it worked beautifully. Sort of forces a lot of decision as long as you remember it throughout. So you get the one, two, three, the four, five, the one, seven, eight, the one, the two, three, four, the five, seven, the two. I guess the one, six, two in here when you decide when you 
realize this has to be a six. But then I think it's probably just the way I was playing it. I got distracted by my machine about to shut down and restart and somehow lost it a bit after that and was muddling a bit more. But regardless, it was a phenomenal puzzle. I hope you enjoyed today's puzzle and the video as well. And I'll see you back for the next one. Bye for now.